Okay, so we so we're back to this. We're we saw the acolyte did. I mean, look, it's look at that ratio. That's really bad. So we've already seen that. If you thought Star Wars couldn't get any progressively worse, well, you know they decided to double down on this idea and. Yeah, I mean, six, 189 dislikes to 67. Yeah, to that is really bad. So we're going to go to the new video game. Their attempt at a, I guess, a woman protagonist, which isn't going to do well. I mean, the Star Wars channel isn't that bad. But if we go to the Ubisoft trailer. um, Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, so, I mean, it's an open world, it's Ubisoft, Ubisoft has been in the gutter for years, for the good while, so, Star Wars cannot catch a break, they need a win, Star Wars, if you're listening to me, which I doubt you are, and I doubt, even if you are, you won't listen, you'll call me a bigot or something, okay, anyway, if you're listening, how about get a new game, like, 1313, or maybe... Battlefront 3. Maybe give us a game we actually want, not this attempt at a female Han Solo, which is taking place, apparently, between... Okay, it didn't say at all. Okay, do, do. Oh, there we go. Between the Venge of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So they're basically trying to make her female Han Solo. Female does everything. Is probably gonna beat Luke or something or tell him where to go at the end. And the worst part is this, is where uh, is this okay the animation looks fine i mean it it looks fine whatever yeah that was yesterday okay animation looks fine i guess but the worst part is the fa the main character because look at this okay we have cameron monaghan who played kyle Ka this is in the last two games. And here's the new care actress. Because goodness, that is really bad. What is the West fixation in making female characters in video games look awful? I mean we I mean there's that, which is a call call of duty. But then we had Ada Wong, Jill Valentine. Resident Evil characters, Ada Wong is still good looking. But then men still aren't don't really change in this. I mean, is there any other uh, pictures? Yeah, I mean still. I mean, so blade. I mean, so blade, which also, yeah, the main character in so blade head is not used for her in the character. It's used for the secondary character. So, but what is their freaking problem with making characters in video games that are women look but ugly, like? What is this? I know this is a horribly paused moment. But if we go back, I mean, if you want to compare this photo to that, the model of that. I mean, if I was the model, this I would be mad, but obviously you can't since you're probably NDA and all that stuff. But let's look at the comments on this. It's... I mean, I mean, outside of the just, no one is interested. Star Wars is basically dead in this. You have to pay like a hundred sixty bucks to play it early, and all of this is just Star Wars. This has proved no one cares about Star Wars because if this if Star Wars actually mattered, people would be, find this find this game interesting. I mean. 
animation wise Star Wars I think is still fine, but overall Star Wars is taking a hit because there was a time where it didn't matter if the game was bad or not, you would still play you would still play it. Like regardless if the game was bad, it had Star Wars on the name, you would still buy it. You would still be interested. Like all the old games, Knights of the Republic, Bounty Hunter, Battlefront. One and two, Galactic Assault, all those games are all loved. And now we have a game. And this is also after the abysmal Battlefront 2 Classic Collection. So now you have a game that is not only ratioed, no one seems to care for it. So this game is not going to do that well. Let's be honest. It's just not. Stella Blade is going to probably begin the year, and it's probably going to be a Hogwarts Legacy all over where they hate it. No, it's not going to get a nomination because, honestly, who gives a crap about Game of the Year anymore? It's going to be a best-selling game, without question, unless there's some other game coming up any anytime soon that you can think of that will beat it. Other than that, Stella Blade's going to win. And this Star Wars game is going to be just dreadful like i mean how do you it's just i don't know. like it doesn't look interesting outside of this problem the model problem it doesn't look interesting at all like the world is obviously going to be free run since ubisoft is a game but it just they're trying to make it a female han solo they're trying to make it jane solo basically female version of han solo so that's all i got Star Wars takes another L yet again. Shocker to no one at all. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe or like it. If you don't, you know, my bad. But like if you like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and we will talk to you guys later.